angry guy here and white men are going to Africa to find wives as password bros go global. I predicted this. I told you guys that in the very near future, you're going to see tons and tons of white men heading to Africa to find wives. And you would eventually see groups of white men, videos of groups of white men with these beautiful African women with them, right? Well, this is now happening. White men are going to Africa to find wives as password bros are going global. And I'm going to show you the proof. And I want you to see just how happy these men are with these women. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Us And the contempt and the, you know, envy deep down uh, projection, it shows itself. So I don't want to hear nothing about, oh, you going after easy women. That's cool. Men want women that are going to give them peace. They want sex silence sandwiches and they want women to be feminine, fit, submissive and fertile. Men want the opposite of themselves. It's that simple. American men out there, you need to go to Uganda and get you a pearl, <laughs> get you a queen. That's what you need. These American women, they're, they're not no good. Get you a oh, woman man. from Uganda. I'm telling you, this is my third time telling you what to do. American men, please, this is a dating tip. And I'm telling you for the third and final time, go get, but you can't have her. She's mine. Oh, this one is all mine. Go get your own. I warned y'all. I told y'all this was coming. I told y'all this isn't a game. I said, listen to me. This is what's happening right now. I said, these men are taking off. I said, white guys are going to start heading to countries, even Africa. Women around the world in, in these countries, in non-Western countries, are going to begin competing for American men. They are going to begin competing for American men. Let me explain something. This is not a game. Yes, this is not a game. All right? You understand that it's not just money. Men are, are good for more than just money. Men are good for knowledge. Men who are older, for example, have life experience. Men with life experience know how to tackle problems. Okay? So when a younger woman in her 20s marries a man in his 40s, not only is he more likely to be in a position to provide for her and protect her, but at the same time, he knows how to tackle problems in a way that a younger man may not know how to. A guy in his 20s runs into an issue. What does he do? He's going to go to his parents. A guy in his 40s, this isn't his first rodeo, okay? For men who survive, men who survive, and they and they keep on pers per, they keep on persevering despite difficult times. These are men with survive with strong survival value. All right. So this is a this is a utility. So when a woman is with a man who has this old, who's older, and survived this long, he knows how to overcome problems and hardships. He knows how to deal with issues that arise in ways that a younger man may not know how to do. So this is an asset. And women who are smart, women who are traditional, women who are feminine, they understand these things. Do you guys get that now? I told you, once once, once you have a lot of white guys that begin to jump on the password bro movement, it's going to get bigger. What did I tell you about these guys? I told y'all, stop focusing on who you like and focus on who likes you. This is a white guy begging American men to leave, to leave. He went to Uganda and found himself, I, what did he call her? A queen. I told y'all, I told, and some of y'all are like angry. I don't like the language you're using, queen and king and all this. I told you, black African women are going to start saying, white kings, come to Africa and get your African queen. 
I told y'all how many times, and I've made sure to repeat it in multiple videos, because when, because when it became a thing, I wanted people to know, remember, who said it? I said it. I said it. I said, there are going to be a ton of white guys going to Africa to get to, to marry African women, and they are literally going to say, all right, come to Africa, all right? We want white kings. So you are a white king. Come to Africa and get your African queen who will treat you like the king that you are. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying this content, please subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications and never miss another video again. And also like the video so YouTube knows that you're enjoying this content and that you want to see more of it. I told you this. I told you about this. And a lot of you guys did not believe me. And now you're seeing it for yourself. Men, when men from the West, Western countries like the United States, like Australia, like the UK, we are the tallest men in the world. Let me make that very clear. These countries have the tallest men in the world. $30,000? $30,000. Which, by the way, most, most men in the U.S. make more than $30,000. But $30,000 to the rest of the world is a is a crazy amount of money. The medication that we pay two hundred dollars for here in the United States, you can get that in Mexico, the same exact medicine. All right, for less than a dollar. You would be shocked to discover the same medicine that cost hundreds here made by the same companies that make it in the, the same companies, not the, not the generic maker, the original manufacturer of the medication that cost, that charges $300, $400, $500 for this medication. You can get it in these countries for, for 25 bucks or even five bucks or even a few dollars. This is why a lot of people travel Travel to Mexico, go to Mexico to purchase their medicine. This is why people go to India to get life-saving treatment, to get to get rounds of medication that you cannot get in the U.S. The there was a I forget what this drug I forget what it was. There was a there was a, a treatment for hepatitis, and the treatment is like a hundred thousand dollars in the U.S. And people can go to India. And have it and, and have the exact same treatment for like a few thousand dollars. A few, I don't know if it was a few hundred or a few thousand, like literally nothing. You pay very little out of pocket c compared to the United States, and you can have it done and you will be cured. Why is this happening? When countries set the prices for their when companies, pharmaceutical companies set the prices for their med their medicines, they set the prices based on the GDP of the country. So, for example, a country like the United States that has a large GDP means that you're paying a lot more. A country like India that has a much smaller GDP, these people are paying much less. The same is for Mexico. It's crazy. And a lot of these countries, they manufacture their own medicine as well. So you can go to these countries and get the same medicine that you're getting in the U.S. for nothing. That's why I told you men are going to leave the United States. They're going to leave these Western countries, the UK, Canada, uh, G even countries like Germany. Even men from Germany are leaving Germany and going to Africa and finding wives in Africa. A lot of Australian men, they go to Thailand and they find wives in Thailand and then they could bring them back to their country and they form communities where, where only them and there were only Asian women and and their australian husbands live i have i have a mess i got a message recently from a guy who lives in australia all right he lives with his wife in australia lives with his wife in australia and she is and they go to an uh, she's philippine she's a filipina and they go to a, they go to a Phil, to a philippine a philip filipino church filipino church in australia a filipino church in australia 
I told y'all, this is the, and he told me about how wonderful she is and how great she is. And you hear nothing but good things. Even men who have, you know, they've, they've got, they've gotten divorces from these women. They still talk very positively of them. You don't have that with American women. You don't have that where these guys get a divorce from a woman in the West and they say, just, just, and they say great things. They talk about how horrible these guys are jaded. But even when they get a divorce from these from these Asian ladies, they still speak very positively of them. And that's something that you have to consider. There's so many guys who get a divorce or they were dating and they were dating this Asian girl, and suddenly they realize that they're the prize, and they and they've had many different girlfriends, and they speak so positively of these women. I have one guy who told me recently that the that he broke up with a girl pretty recently, and uh because he's over in Asia, he broke up with her because he didn't like the fact that she was spending all her time on the phone. She was glued to her phone and he's like, yeah, no more. I don't like it. I don't like it. And he broke up with her for that. Because men, when men go overseas, it's it's a role reversal. In America, there's a scarcity of men, but in, but overseas, it's like there, there's a scarce, there's these women treat it like there's a scarcity in over in America. There's a scarce men act like there's a scarcity of women, but overseas, Women act like there's a scarcity of men. All right? Guys, white men are going to Africa to find wives as password bros go global. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roles lead to MWA men walking away and cheers.